So I'm Adam, the director of the Museum of St. Lena, and today I'm taking a look at one of the items connected to St. Lena's slave history. Uh, so this is a medal, um, a slave medal, awarded to slaves for various different types of good behaviour. And um, as you can see on this one, it's for honesty, diligence, sobriety and respectfulness. Um, this particular medal was awarded to Samuel Caesar in 1824. Uh, Samuel um, was from Sandy Bay, uh, may well have a connection with uh, some of the Caesars alive today. Um, slave, the, the idea of introducing these slave medals was uh, one brought about by Governor Patton in 1802. And I think it was at a time when people began to finally realise that they could actually get more out of people by treating them well and rewarding them for good behaviour rather than simply just punish them, punishing them for their bad behaviour as we are all quite familiar with um, slaves who were treated horrendously uh, and St. Lena was no exception to that. Um, so these medals were often accompanied by a cash reward as well. So it was really a way of um, encouraging uh, slaves to behave well and work hard and, and that they would be rewarded for that. So um, we do have a selection of other medals that we don't have physical copies of, we have pictures of, but just as more examples of being awarded to local slaves on St. Lena. Um, I think what's quite interesting about this is that 1824 is quite a late date to be awarded such a medal considering that slavery itself, had actually the process to abolish slavery began with Hudson Lowe in 1818. The slave tra uh, trade, so bringing in new slaves, was outlawed in 1792. And um, the slavery itself was then gradually phased out, starting from 1834 and, and finally finished in 1839. So this was only 15 years before the final abolition of slavery, which d demonstrates to us that slavery was very much alive and well on, on St. Lena at this time.